land surveying liability. This is probably one of the biggest issues land surveyors have today. They're afraid that all of the hard work they've put in is going to blow up in an instant because of a frivolous lawsuit. Now that's one side of the story. The other side of the story is all of the clients I've met over the past 20 years who have actually gotten a very poorly done survey. And that survey has caused them hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars of damage due to construction, building, things like that. So it's, it's so interesting how I've seen it from both sides. The professional side who wants to be protected and the client side, the property owner side, who has really uh, you know, suffered great harm at the hands of some surveyors. So at what point and how should land surveyors be held liable for what they've done? That's a question for a different video. But today, we're talking about third-party liability for land surveyors. What do I mean by that? Well, property owner John Smith hires land surveyor Bob to do a survey. Years or decades later, even when John Smith has sold the property, even possibly died, the new property owners find a mistake in the survey. Can the new property owners sue Surveyor Bob? Another interesting hypothetical, Surveyor Bob is hired to survey, you know, Parcel A. And Parcel A's owner is happy because he's gotten a big chunk of property. But what about all of the neighbors that surround Parcel A? Can the neighbors who never hired Bob in the first place sue the surveyor if, they, if the surveyor incorrectly placed the boundaries, maybe created an encroachment onto the neighboring properties? These are all really big questions. And the answer to these questions really varies by state. Some states, are a strict privity state. It says you've got a contract between the client and the surveyor. If there's no contract between a plaintiff and defendant, the neighbors can't sue the surveyor, the new property owners can't sue the surveyor. And the strict privity doctrine is really how it all started, you know, English law. Now, on the other hand, you've got some more liberal states. And the liberal states say that, you know, whoever is a foreseeable party or a foreseeable user or beneficiary of the survey can sue the surveyor. So, you know, Bob does a survey in 1950 and the house is sold one, two, three, four times. Any of those property owners even though they did not pay Bob, can sue the surveyor for negligence. Which one is better, strict privity or foreseeable beneficiary? I can't comment on that because it depends. But it is interesting how one lawsuit can go forward in a state, but right next door, you know, 20 feet across the state line, the same exact thing happens. A survey problem is found and a third party wants to sue the surveyor. They can't because of the strict privity requirement. So before bringing a negligence lawsuit against a surveyor, really consider whether your third party liability allows you to do so. Because when you file a lawsuit that is not legally sufficient, because of privity or something else, and it gets thrown out, you're basically just wasting your own money. On the flip side, as a surveyor, if you do get sued and maybe you are negligent, maybe you say, I, I made a mistake and it was preventable or not, before you go responding to the root cause of boundary monument or something else, ask yourself, do these people have the ability, the legal right to sue me? 
And if not, that could be a way to avoid damages or liability in the lawsuit. Strict privity has been written about and so has foreseeability in civil engineering cases, in architect, doctor, all kinds of different interesting cases, accountants, CPAs. But there are very few good cases about land surveyors, and that's because land surveying is such a small profession. But if you're interested in a few good cases, check out my blog linked in the description and read the cases for yourself. And then ask yourself, do you feel like strict privity is more fair? Or do you feel like the foreseeability, the modern version of third party liability is the best option? And then you can decide what you think is best.